This has to be the strangest update in GA4 to this date. Google has removed conversions from almost all reports in GA4. That's right. The most important metric in GA4 is now gone from almost all reports. Let's dive in. Welcome to the channel, my name is Leon. This channel exists to help you grow your site using your web stats. I wanna thank everyone that has been liking my videos and has subscribed to the channel. That really helps me out a ton to reach more people with uh, videos like this. As a way to say thank you, I've created a short cheat sheet on how you can grow your website traffic. So whether you have a new domain or an existing domain, if you want to grow your website traffic, just check out the video description. There's a link where you can download that cheat sheet for free. Also, if you like this video and want to watch more, just head over to my profile. I've created tons of videos over the past year on how you can grow your site using your web stats. Also, check the description because I might update it if I get new information or if I accidentally made a mistake. It's not always possible to go back and re-record right away. So check the video description if there is something that I missed, if there's an update to GA4 or something else in the future, I will try to update it. So first, let's talk about what has changed. Google has renamed the metric conversions into key events in almost all reports in uh, GA4. Google has also removed the conversions report that used to be there under the reports section. So let's dive into GA4 and let's see what has changed, what has changed for you and me. I'm here on my site, on the homepage. If I would look up conversion data in the past, I would go in to one of these metrics and I would look for conversions. So that has now changed. You don't need to look for conversions. You need to look for key events. And that is the way you can find your conversion data over time in the past 28 days. So for me, these are leads for my contact form, training form. This is how you find the conversion data on your site under key events. Next, if we go into reports, one important change here is under engagement, lifecycle engagement, there used to be a conversions report where you could see the data for the conversions only. That is now gone. You can see a report for all events. There used to be also a, a separate dimension where you could filter, for instance, this report to is conversion event, but uh, you cannot filter by is key event. That is um, gone for some reason. So if you want to see conversion data under reporting, uh, you need to move into a different report, for instance, traffic acquisition. And then in that report, look for key events. There's a column to the right here. This is key events. You can even sort this column to see the uh, timeline will also change and this little graph here. So sorting impacts the section above. And then you can even segment into a separate conversion or key event that you have, uh, have set up. So this is how you get conversion data from the reports section in GA4. Next, let's move into explorations. So under explorations, you used to be able to just open up a new exploration and then for instance, see conversion data over time. You would go into metrics and then look for conversions. That has now changed. You need to look for key events. So there it is, key events. Uh, let's uh, drop it into this, uh, this table. This is where you see the key events. You can even segment it by dimension event name. So um, if I select event name as rows, uh, here I see all the active events on my site. And I can even go in and see it only for my contact form. I can make a timeline of it. So this is how you use your conversion data in explorations. You need to look for the word key events. And also under admin, if you want to set up new conversions, if you want to set up new key events, you need to go under data display and then there's a separate section key events. And all conversions that you've set up in the past are automatically renamed into key events. And the historical data is still intact. Luckily, there is one section left and that is the advertising section. And that is the only section where you sometimes will see the word conversions because the word conversions is reserved for conversions that have been set up inside of Google ads based on your key events data. I don't have Google ads set up here on my site. So I have the demo account right here from Google. There's a link in the video description if you want to access that. Let's go under advertising here and here you will see the word conversions and it will be only used for conversions that have been set up in Google ads via key events from Google analytics. All right. So why is this a big deal? Don't get me wrong. I'm not hopping on the 
GA4 bashing train. I know that there has been a lot of complaining on the internet, a lot of bashing GA4 that has been rooted in just people's inability to change and to adopt to new technology. I'm super grateful for GA4 and I'm super grateful that I get to use such a quality product in my daily work for no cost. But this change is different to me for three reasons. So first of all, this change is important to me because language matters. The word conversion is such an important word, such an important concept in our world of online marketing and digital analytics. The metric conversions is truly the most important metric for many, many, many sites out there. And by removing this word from the reports, Google is creating a disconnect between our world of online marketing, digital analytics and the GA4 product. Google is steepening the learning curve. It is getting harder and harder to just start using Google Analytics without first reading the manual. And um, I believe you can judge the quality of a tool, especially software by its ability for new users to just start using it without reading the manual. Look at Notion or look at tools like Basecamp. I never read the manual before I started using those products. You just go in, make an account and you just start using it. And that is what you want from a quality software product. And in a sense, Google is steepening the learning curve because of changes like this. It is becoming harder and harder to start using Google Analytics without first reading the manual. And um, in that sense, this might look like a small change, but I believe it is a small but a harmful change for the Google Analytics 4 product. So secondly, why is this change so important to me? Well, because of the skill. This is not a feature that a small subset of users use some of the time. No, everybody uses conversions. From the specialist to the generalist, from the user that is using like Google day in, day out, every day, every single hour, to the users that is just logging in maybe once a quarter, checking the conversions. If you log in, you start and end with conversions. It is a core concept. This change touches so many people it changes so many situations. The scale of it is enormous and it forces us to go through another round of re-education with every client and every colleague. And especially in light of all the changes that we've had over the last year or two, this feels unnecessary. Also, and that's number three, because this change doesn't solve anything. Google has put out an explanation video and an article on why they made this change. And um, they saw that Google Ads conversions were calculated differently from Google Analytics conversions. And because these two metrics came together in one single product, they felt that it was necessary to make distinction between Google Ads conversions and Google Analytics conversions. And that's why they renamed the Google Analytics conversions into key events. But if you think about it, every platform out there, every web analytics platform, but also every advertising platform calculates conversions differently. They have different attribution models. They have different underlying data. They have different look back windows. There's just so much different. And this has been a given. Everybody knows this, that if you look up conversions from one tool and you look up conversions from another tool, that the data will differ slightly or sometimes drastically. This has been a given and it is not an issue for anyone that I know. This change causes a hundred times more confusion than it solves. I believe it's harmful for the GA4 product because it requires you to read the manual before you can start using it. An online marketeer that is dipping their toes into web analytics will log in and try to find conversions and they will not find it because it's hidden under the word key events. And that is why I care so much about this change and why I believe it's harmful for the analytics product. All right, what should you do about this change? Well, of course, the concept conversion is not gonna go away. We will still use the word conversion in our conversations, in our emails, in our dashboards, in our reports. Of course, in other paid media platforms, we will still see conversions, the metric conversions. However, if you want to look up conversion data, just your plain old last click conversion data from Google Analytics 4, you will need to look for the word key events instead of conversions. That's it for now. If you have colleagues or if you have clients, you need to make them aware of this change because it truly touches almost everybody that uses Google Analytics for now. Also, all educators, all YouTubers will need to go back and re-record their materials on how to set up conversions inside of Google Analytics 4. For what reason? I don't know. All right, that's it for today. I hope this video was clear. I hope it was helpful. Did I miss something or do you have questions? Please leave a comment down below this video. 
Also, if you want to watch more, just head over to my profile because I've created tons of videos in the past year on how to grow your site using your web stats. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.